around the home for Ike Isola, Mina Cobbs, and Tim Kalashaw gracing us with his right. presence. Love the books. Shelf, Tim, the noted author, Tim Kalisha. Right. We're talking the draft, Mina. I know you got a lot of takes on this, but we are proceeding with April 23rd, less than a month away, even though some GM's not sure they want to do that. That's the NFL's proceeding. What do you think of that? I think NFL teams are doing what NFL teams always do, Tony, which is trying to minimize risks. It's why they implemented the rookie wage scale, so they wouldn't make huge mistakes. And I am sympathetic to it in this situation but I think the number of players who can't be evaluated right now just solely based on their college tape, what we've got at the combine interviews, is pretty negligible. I also think this is one of the few events in sports we can have right now. From the NFL's perspective, I would absolutely proceed with it for that reason because every person in America is going to watch it. All right, so you think the ratings would be huge. Sure, a captive oh, audience. But, but, Frank, when you hear uh, business – as usual, basically, is what the NFL is saying, and we're going to proceed with the draft. You think what? Well, it's one of the few sports that can do it because remember, Tony, they've had a college football season. You've had the scouting combine. They could interview players the way that we're doing this show right now. And to yeah. Mina's point, everyone is dying for sports right now. In the NFL, it's not going to be the big television production that they would have had in Las Vegas. It'll be pared down somewhat, but you could stretch it out over four, five, six, seven days if you want to. People are dying for sports. I would keep it where it is right now. And guess who's going to win? the teams with the best scouting departments and front offices. So, right, you you would be all over that Adam Schefter idea to do a round a day for a week yeah. and a rating <laughs> answer that comes with that. Tim Kalashaw, business as usual, let's go with the draft in, what is it, 29 days from now, April 23? It seems awfully soon, and I'm thinking about that Cowboys draft room. We always see the camera. Can the entire Jones family even fit in there with the proper social distancing <laughs> at that time? I don't know. We may have to scale that down just a bit. But, you know, you think about, okay, there's going to be a lot of scouts and, and personnel people complaining about what they don't get to do. But I talked to Fran Fraschilli yesterday, and he was talking about the NBA may end up having a draft with no March Madness, no combine, yeah. okay. none of this stuff that the NFL's already had. So I say, I say go, you know, this go right ahead. This is Kalish show going with a name drop. Thumbs up or thumbs down points for Fran Fraschilli in our NFL draft. All right, bud, bud. And, uh, <laughs> Mina, is there any one team or one – player that's at a disadvantage if the draft were to go forward in, in one month from now? I think it's the Miami Dolphins and Tua Tunga Vailoa. Like I said, it's a small number of players where teams really need yeah. physicals, but he is one of those players. Well, you saw the video, though. You saw the video. I mean, look at Tua right here. Look at his – he looks great looks for good. a guy who had hip surgery a half a year ago, less than a half a year ago. Incredible.